Jeff Bacalar. Well, hello, sir, my friend in ice. Yes, we are the Ice Bros. Welcome to the world of iced hockey, where we play hockey on an iced surface. This is our annual look at the NHL franchise, NHL 21. Jeff, you've been playing this game. I've been playing this game. How you feeling about it? Well, my my friend in ice, um, I'm a bit, how do I put it? I'm a bit lukewarm with this uh, mm. with this year's effort. Um, I know I sound like a broken record with that, but uh, once again, this game has really failed to capture the diehard hockey uh, simulation, you know, desperation that I am so searching for. I, I just mm. can't find it in this game. It it is its own version of video game hockey that in my opinion drifts further and further away from the real thing every year but it's still fun it's <laughs> is that it's interesting you, no I, I don't think that's that's an inaccurate description i will say also that uh, it's interesting you think it drifts further and further away because very little actually has changed in this year's game as far as like the gameplay is concerned definitely, definitely. um it's the it's the problem this game has had this entire generation where the the updates that do come feel very incremental not necessarily to any great benefit of the game, and uh, the on-ice action still feels not terribly dissimilar from where it did kind of at the start of this generation. I mean, obviously they've made some changes here and there, but it still has this kind of very specific feel to it that uh, just, I don't know, like you said, it doesn't feel wholly realistic. It isn't bad, it's not f unfun, but it's not, uh, it's not necessarily like the realism you might get from some of the other sports franchises. Yeah, and and you know when I say that it drifts further and further away, I think what that means is is like every year goes by where you expect the thing to be better, right? Yes. And you know you're sort of unable to make up for all of this lost time. And like we know this game is very much overdue for a you know clean slate, or shall I say clean sheet of ice? Yes. Uh, and you know, someone you know needs to run his fucking coming. Zamboni over this thing. <laughs> Please do, <laughs> even if it's that one on fire. I don't care what it is, just do it. And look, you know, I, unfortunately, that's the sort of state of uh, of how this game gets treated. But uh, yeah, oh, you're looking good. Yeah, I look all right. Uh, I decided to jump into the uh, the be a player mode here first because this is the mode that I think has gotten the biggest overhaul this year, and. In some ways, I, I'm I'm fond of what they tried to do here. I don't think it's wholly successful. Um, so the create a character mode is basically the same as it's always been, and the progression as the, uh, of the be a player mode is pretty much the same as it's been over the last few years. Um, what they've done is they've added a degree of storytelling to it, mm -hmm. where you are a rookie coming into the league, as you always are. Um, and your goal is to try and win the Calder Trophy, uh, which is the, the, the Rookie of the Year, essentially, uh, trophy for those who don't know. And I don't really like it very much. Um, it's not horrible, but, like, what it is is essentially a lot of interspersed dialogue choices that come between games, sometimes during games, where uh, a coach will give you an assignment, which you can be put the pressure on, hold a lead, score a goal, whatever you need to do. Mm -hmm. And all it really serves to do is just kind of lengthen the mode as opposed to making for an interesting story. Um, I don't know if you've played a lot of this, but I found so far to just like a lot of the dialogue choices have just not been interesting at all. Well, I mean, you know, I, I don't, to be clear up front, I don't dive that deep in this sort of stuff. For me, I'm just looking at the hockey, but, you know, look, I, I think that kind of stuff is always kind of tough to, to figure out. I, I also think. Anyone who watches a lot of pre- and post-game uh, hockey coverage, or any sports coverage for that matter, knows that maybe you're not getting the most insightful, you know, sort of shtick from, from some of these players. I mean, you know, it's just sort of this thing that we all kind of go through the motions with, but hearing that it's maybe uninspired is not the biggest surprise. 
No, it's just, you know, when they said that they were going to add, like, storytelling to it, you hope that maybe that it would at least get close to something like the Madden story modes, which are not universally great by any stretch, but at the same time, like, there's a story there. Like, there's some acting, there's something to it. Whereas this is a lot of dialogue, like, there's, it's all text, and you're just kind of clicking choices as time goes on. Um, and, you know, it sort of builds either your personal brand or your rapport with your team. And it's just these two meters that kind of go up and down depending on what your choices are. Right. And I don't think any of it really resonates. The most interesting thing is that between games, um, ah, that was a bad pass. Um, between games, you will get these, these, um, these dialogue bits from like, ra- like hockey radio shows, like sports radio. And... The, apparently that stuff only runs pretty much through the first season like the stuff that talks about you as a rookie player and like your you know your your run through the league mm-hmm. it kind of a lot of that storytelling kind of stops i guess after the first year um which is a bummer That's interesting yeah but the actual radio stuff is not bad like they did a pretty good job of making it like the kind of facile shit you would totally hear during sports talk radio okay so that stuff's not bad and I do like playing as, you know, myself. Like, I enjoy playing as a, myself, as a player. But it's not... The storytelling has not really done anything to win me over this year. Yeah. All right, so you're, you got 11 points on the season here. You're doing all right. I've only played five games, too. That's quite all right. And my last game, I didn't score anything, and I was a minus four. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it was not a great game. Yeah, Blow I God. mean, I just, there's just so much of the same sort of, you know, animation, hang-ups, and, and kind of like weird, you know, I guess weird positioning of players. Like, they, they the thing they really still haven't nailed down is sort of like the way players do this sort of anticipatory skate towards the puck. They just, a lot of the, the, the moment-to-moment skating in this has is still you know kind of this like beeline to the puck and you're always going to be you know all all the cpu stuff is like right towards the puck right towards the puck and Mm -hmm. it's just it just doesn't feel right i don't know yeah there's a real like there's a rhythm to this game and it doesn't feel like the hockey you see on tv you know like it's a lot of like you know get the puck run up try and set up a play, but more likely someone steals the puck for you or hits you, then run back the other way, then the same thing happens. And, like, I don't know, like, it just, there isn't really a lot of, I don't know, I guess even on, like, I'm not necessarily playing on the hardest difficulty or anything, but it feels like there just isn't necessarily a lot of, like, strategizing. It's just kind of a lot of catches, catch can. Right. And there's almost never much play in the neutral zone. Like, everyone's always in the, the offensive or the defensive zone. No, almost Like, there's not really much that goes on in the neutral zone at all in this game. And You know what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely. And, and I'm not trying to say, like, you know, I, I realize, like, just the, just the surface level, like, trying to understand. Oh, no. Yeah, you got to get that. That's, oh, yeah. what a bummer. Would your stick break? Yeah, my stick broke. I got hit so hard, my stick broke. <laughs> You know, I realize like attempting to 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 program that kind of you know AI, and I realize like that is a huge undertaking because hockey continues to be so frenetic and fast. It is just really tough to to kind of wrap your head around. I think that to me that just speaks so much to how this needs to be a completely if they if they want to go in that direction, a completely reimagined game. Yeah, and the problem, I think, is, one, NHL is clearly no, nowhere near the top of EA's priority list. Yeah. Like, it is it is their third-tier sports game at this point. I only say not fourth-tier because NBA has not shown up again right. uh, in, in recent years. Uh, and without those resources, like, it's real hard to imagine them ever making this game, like, a lot better. Mm-hmm. And so you get these incremental upgrades and the, they do make some changes here and there and some of them are, do benefit the game but it just like you said it feels very much the same and not realistic. I keep trying to get it into the into the 
into the crease there, but I just, they actually have a defense, so that's messing me up. <laughs> so hopefully at some point here, the coach will say, hey, do you want to do something here? Because like usually every game, they will give you at least one challenge, and those challenges tend to range from like, hey, get out there and score. Wow, they scored some goals. Um, oh, whoa. That was quick. Um, yeah, it was. Or protect the lead, what have you. Um, and if you meet those goals, you get a little stat boost at the end. If you don't, you lose some 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 points. You know, I I, I for what it's worth, like I oh, do God. think this version that that you know this kind of like you know ice time only is is a cool thing. Like you know, I I remember when it when they first debuted, I was just like, what am I doing? I'm not playing the whole game. Like this is crazy. Um, but it, 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 it is a, a cool way to approach that hyper-personalized experience. And, yeah. you know, I think it works. All right. Well, uh, these periods are going by pretty quick, so I think we can finish yeah. out this game. So what have you primarily been playing in this game? Like, what modes do you usually tend to gravitate toward? So I usually just do, like, playoff mode. I'll just do, like, an entire playoff series, uh, po or, you know, postseason, try and win mm -hmm. the cup. Um, I do like to play online a lot, and uh, I haven't had that much experience doing that, um, you know, just because I've been playing the majority of the game before it had come out. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to get back into it. You know, the, the, the amount of games that I did play, though, and I, I talked about this on... Uh, on the beast cast a little bit they it just they really did turn me off in a way that i was just mm -hmm. like i don't think i want to even play this game um and you know that's i don't know i i think that says a lot like i love hockey so much and to be able to play a, a really good hockey game is something that um i've, I've been oh, no. looking for for so long um so just not being able to have that and be and to be turned off so much that I'm just like I I don't think I want to do this, you know I I presume all of the, you know the sort of like, exploits that that you know you get from the online community and and you know what what it is to what it's like to play a game online like, I can't imagine those are all gone you know what I mean yeah um, so you know just like having that in the back of my head like ugh, it's probably or what new exploits great. will crop up this year. Totally. Um, I'll say this. I think, you know, like I said, I played, I've played around 15 games now. Mm -hmm. um, I've noticed they've dialed down the penalties, which were just over the top in such an insane way last year. But again, that's... Yeah, I feel like just about every penalty I've gotten, at least from playing this mode and playing, like, my franchise games, um, have been legit. Like, I just yeah. played like shit and I did a bad thing. Right. Where Which you're is just like what you would want. Sure. You know, something where you're just like spamming the, the, the lift stick button or yes. your poke checking. Or the, over or the poke checking, yes, and I'm tripping motherfuckers left and right. Right. Like, that makes sense. Call that. Um, you know, I, I still find that, like, if I'm playing defense and I am attempting to change my player quickly that will sometimes result in me receiving the puck and then immediately passing it away mm -hmm. uh, which is oh, just God. sort of this like bone-headed you know thing that has never been addressed and right it's you know and and i play the computer a lot and you know computer doesn't make that mistake because it can't right it, you know right. it doesn't double tap a button by action um so just a lot of that stuff is, is super frustrating um it's just interesting because you and i play these games very differently like we are yeah. interested in different modes we have different experiences but we come to roughly the same conclusion which is that no matter which, how you choose to play NHL 21, it is in some way maybe a little disappointing. Not terrible, but maybe a little disappointing. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's funny. Like, I, I do think the computer play... Like, the it, this is going to sound wild, but I think the way the computer plays the game, it's trying to play it in a more realistic manner than you obviously would play another human, right? But I right. think the game... But I think the computer, you know, sort of AI that controls the game and plays the game the way it wants to, I think it, like, 
I think it, it, that's what really exposes the shortcomings in, in what this game, you know, kind of like fails to achieve in, in terms of realism. And I think, mm-hmm. um, you know, I, I also think, and I've complained about this for a while, I think the onboarding is, is not as complete and as thorough as I kind of wish it would be. And when I say that, I mean, like, just the general, you know, skill tutorial overlay stuff that they do. Sure. They, they kind of, you know, they kind of leave you hanging at some point and you just are kind of left to fend for yourself with these hyper advanced, uh, you know, maneuvers and whatnot. So, yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, it yeah, I mean, if I hadn't been be playing game, these games yeah. every single year. There's definitely some stuff that I would be like, uh, what am I supposed to be doing here? Like, why why does it want me to do this? And right. it doesn't always communicate that stuff super well. Right. Like, why does it want me to do a stick lift here as opposed to, say, a poke check or something else? Sure. Like, why would I want to use the stick as opposed to the buttons? You know, like, it doesn't... Like, there are some tutorials in there, but, like, it's not... I don't know. Like, I just, I feel like it's, like you said, it's not great at communicating the way, the thing, like, the reasoning for why you would do the things that it wants you to do. See, like, I, see, like, for me, I, you know, that backhand shot you just took, like, I almost wish this game didn't let you do that. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like, that yes. is such an insane shot. You know, like, don't get me wrong, like, backhands are definitely a thing, but the way you skated into it is just, like, no one could shoot like that. Yeah. Uh, nor, nor would they want to. Right, for sure. You know, backhands are great, but, like, this game and backhands and, like, how you're positioned facing the puck, they just, they just look dated. You know, yeah. it's just sort of this, like, hitbox thing and less uh, a, a practical application of, like, physics. Oh, here we go. I'm getting challenged. He's like, look, Navarro, I want you to take a dump right on the ice. All right, yeah, he just wants me to keep the pressure on. <laughs> I can do that. It's like, what does that even mean? I think just keep throwing the puck at the net yeah. is my guess. It's like, oh, you mean keep playing the game the way I would definitely be playing? So is that going to reward you if you, like, do take shots or if you do or if you're able to somehow keep the puck pinned in their zone or something like that? Yeah, I think as long as I do what they consider to be the pressure, which is, you know, stay in the offensive, keep the puck in the offensive zone, keep shooting. Um, there we go. That's what we want. Oh, I like that chance right there. Yeah. I probably could have passed it to the other guy and gotten it in, but I wanted I wanted the glory. <laughs> Oh, that was a good shot. They did finally put my last name in the game, so the announcers will say it. That's pretty cool. You have to pick. I usually had to pick like one of like several Russian-sounding names to get something that sounded close. <laughs> oh, that's see, see, that's a bad change. They should really. They don't really have a good sense of like. Hey, your shift is long, but also they have the puck and they're moving into the offensive zone. Maybe don't run right off the ice. Right. Like, it never seems to quite figure out whether you should be changing or not in that situation. Like, I'd love to see you get negative XP there. Yeah. Like, why did you get off the ice? They're, they were running like, straight for the net. Yeah, you got, you got off the ice during their rush. So, like, what are you doing? All right, I guess we're going in overtime. Let's keep the pressure up. Keep to win. the pressure up, Navarro. <laughs> Get off the ice as soon as they have the puck. You love these moments of drama if you're a sports fan. Do you play any of the hockey ultimate team stuff at all? I used to, but I haven't done that in a couple of years now. Yeah, neither have I. I it's not that it's like bad or worse than any of their other ultimate team stuff in the other games. It's just not my favorite. Like, I just, I kind of get bored with it after a while. I get bored with it in every one of these games. Yeah. Like, I open my packs, and then I play a few challenges and modes, and I'm like, eh, I'm good. I mean, you know, ironically, that is, that it does seem to be year after year, like, a big, you know, the big focus there. Yeah. Um, well, it's their well, moneymaker. In- yeah, for sure. That's That's how they're generating, yeah. I wonder how well the NHL Ultimate Team stuff does for them. Yeah, that's a good question. 
Because we know FIFA is uh, an ungodly amount of money, and yeah. Madden is not far behind. Just wondering if the hockey audience is as jazzed for this as others. Yeah, I mean, you know, as much as I personally lament a lot of what this game does, like, everyone on my hockey team plays this game religiously. Like, everyone is, it is all about it. because there isn't really another choice? Yeah. I mean, that's what it is. Like, you're just handcuffed, yeah. right? Like, that's, you know. Let's see if you get simulated out of this. Nope. Now you gotta go uh, do a shootout. You're gonna do a shootout. Are you gonna, be, are you gonna be shooting? How's that work? I don't know. I assume they'll put me in there because I'm one of our snipers, so. Ooh. Mr. Sniper. This is actually my first shootout in this mode, so let's do it. Oh, that'd be so funny if you're not in the shootout. Or if you, like, don't get to go. <laughs> no, you gotta go with Kopitar first. I mean, that's who I would pick first if I were sure. the LA Kings. Oh, wow. Ooh. I want to see that again. Look at, oh, come on. Oh, he tried for something there. Uh-oh. Okay, that looks like Austin Matthews. I'm okay yeah. with that. Most of the star players, I feel like, look pretty good. Yeah. Most of them. I am really bad with, like, the, the right stick, like, you know, puck finesse stuff. So I'm There's probably going to... I'm gonna yeah. beef this hard. I feel like, but there's just not a lot of range, like in that no. stick, you know, radius. So it's like, I mean, I know people do nasty stuff with it, and it takes a lot of practice. But oh yeah, it's not easy. Oh, All so right, Drew. You, there you go. So you are gonna get to go now. Oof. Nice shot. That was nasty. Oh boy. Man, this goalie is just eating it right now. <laughs> See, like, oh, that's funny. That celebration is just like, oh, also the, okay. <laughs> also, the part where he shoulder checked the goalie at the end of the goal is not great. They usually oh, frown funny. upon that. Oh. You don't get to go. I am a rookie, to be fair. All right. All right. Maybe, All right. Maybe, maybe I will get to go. If, if if my goalie can stop one shot, maybe we'll get there. Oh, that's funny. He really sold this move on the goaltender who bit hard. Then he was able to put it inside the post. Uh-oh. Oh, this is not a good sign. Oh, wow, you stopped one. Thank God. All right, maybe I will get to go now. All right, 2-2. Two, two. Let's see who's up. Not nope. me. <laughs> All right, Michael Granlund is a, a guy I would put in the lineup for this. Sure, I don't feel too insulted by that. And there it is. All right. Who do we got here? Nylander's got a chance to be the hero if he can come up with a clutch goal. Nope. Oh, wow, we're going to round five. In the center of it makes an easy stop. All right, there here he I am. Is. <laughs> End of the lineup. He finally gets his number called. Nope. Ah, all right, smart shot. We got a smart shot. I don't know if it was really that smart, but I did my best. Goes colliding into the boards after. I love it. The table is set. The cutlery's all in place, and he can be the hero right now. All right. Well, wow. that's it. Tie game. See y'all later. <laughs> I'll be honest. I miss ties. I wish ties still existed. I do too. I uh, I think. I, I mean, personally, I I despise the shootout. I don't despise the shootout. I think it's fun, but. I don't know. I feel like you should get a limited number of shootouts, and then that's it. It's a tie. Fuck off. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough. Oh. And there it goes. 
No, I'm with you. I, I think the the real way to do it is just the one overtime period, and if that doesn't work, then it's a tie. But yeah, I mean, let them do let them do ten minutes maybe. Yeah. And then uh... the shootout is it, it's fun to watch, but I agree. I understand why hockey purists hate it. Yeah, I mean, it's it is the coin flip of deciding a game, and it's just wild to me. Yeah, people like it when the puck goes in the net, you know? Puck's got to get in that net. I get it. Oh, the mascot's out there, too. There he is. Look at him. So I think the coach is going to tell me I didn't do a bad job. He's going to be like, you're cut from this team. And... <laughs> All right, I did my job. I did what I was supposed to do. He's happy. I was not one of the stars of the game. Unfortunately. So we'll jump out of here uh, once we're done with it, once this loads up here. But um, there's a, a slight change to the franchise mode as well, which I will show off. Um... Maybe we'll play one of my franchise games with my uh, my expansion Seattle team. Nice. Here's some of the radio stuff. I am all ears. Phone lines are open if you want to dive in because this team to me is suffering from an identity crisis as they try to figure out who they are in this. Oh, leave them alone. I do like what I'm seeing from the rookie, though. I think the kid looks good. Uh, despite so it's a lot of this where they'll just kind of respond to how you played in each game and kind of talk about it like it was, you know, bad morning sports radio. Yeah. But I think as a defensive game has probably impressed the coaches probably more so. Uh, and I like what I'm seeing from him, but come on, like this team's got to, at some point you got to figure out who Dude, you Dude, it's the LA Kings. What do you expect? Like a team that you want to try to win these games. So most of the other modes, at least the ones I've dabbled in, don't feel remarkably different. Um, mm. I know they added some, like it was the, the ultimate team, like rush mode, I guess like they added some arcade mode stuff to that. Um, but like I said, I don't really mess too much with those modes. Um, so I don't, I haven't really touched a whole lot of that. I do play the franchise mode though. Um, and so the big thing this year that they've added um, is they've revamped the trade deadline. So it works in real time, not real time, but like there's a clock that's ticking down during the last day of the trade trade deadline. Right. Um, I have conveniently queued up my, uh, my, my calendar to right before the, the trade deadline. Um, so, I created an expansion team. Obviously, you can play as any of the regular teams as well. Uh, I like building my own bad uh, expansion franchise, uh, or I, what I thought would be a bad expansion franchise, but somehow I won the Stanley Cup in my first year with the <laughs> Seattle Space Force, um, <laughs> which is inexplicable because we were an eight seed and did not play that well through most of the season, but somehow we won it. Um, you want to take a look at my team here? I've got some. I got some decent players. I managed to get some guys in the expansion draft that were pretty good. I kind of built my team around. Uh, I don't remember how to pronounce this. Pietr Pietrangelo. Pietrangelo. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of built my yeah. team around him and uh, an another defenseman, uh, Giordano, and they've been they've been doing well for me. I um, don't know how this team won the Stanley Cup. I just. I mean, my best my best offensive player at the time. That my best ones were Eric Stahl and uh, Mike Hoffman, who I traded for, and that was it. And I had this rookie wow. uh, who was pretty good last year, has been a lot better this year. Um, and we're in, you know, good standing at this point, uh, you know, at this point in the season. Inexplicably sure. doing well. Um, it's you. It's you. It's not them. It's you. Yeah, That's I'm that. doing great. Take, take the credit. Take the credit. Uh, we have owner goals here. We have to, you know, keep up. Uh, profits and update our, uh, you know, make sure our, our arena is in good standing. Unfortunately, I ran out of money already for this season, so I'm not going to be uh, repairing anything. Mm. Um, and yeah, so let's go to the uh, the old calendar here and move on to, into the trade deadline. Do yeah, there's no reason like my team should be doing that well. Do you like doing all of the sort of, you know, owner management stuff? Is that part of, like, the draw here for you? 
I'm more into the GM side of things. I'm less yeah. interested in the owner management, but I don't hate it. Like, I'm not against mm -hmm. it. Um, so you can... Once the trade deadline comes up, you essentially decide what kind of team you want to be. Are you selling? Are you only selling a little bit, buying a little bit, buying like crazy? Um, so I would call myself a conservative buyer at this point. Like I might look to improve if there's something available, but like my core seems to be doing pretty well. So I'm not sure. looking to start a whole bunch of bullshit here. Um, so we enter the trade deadline and it takes you to this menu where it's just like, here's the clock. And here are like the best players that are currently on the block from other teams. Uh, and then you will see these players just get traded in real time. That's Wait, cool. I don't remember putting him on the list, though also it's probably a good idea because he's 38 years old. Um, so if someone wants to offer me something good for him, I might be willing to make that trade. But what do you think? Should I try and go after someone, any of these these players? I mean, going after Hurdle is never a bad idea. I, I like him. You're saying I should put the herd on hurdle? Maybe. Um, who else was there? Oh, Barkov? I mean... I like that. I, I like maybe those... those. Or if you're going to get Brendan Gallagher, I mean... Is Brendan Gallagher someone I should be getting? Yeah, he's pretty good. Two-way forward. I have a lot of two-way forwards. I kind of need, like, scoring and playmaking players. Like, that is where I'm kind of lacking right now. I have a lot of two-way and a lot of power forwards. Hmm. Uh, yeah, maybe Hurdle's your man. Yeah, he seems like he might be. Let me see what I can offer Tomash. for him. Tomash. All right. Curious what they want. Maybe a draft pick. Maybe this is a player worth throwing a draft pick in for. Yeah, dude. Okay, so... He's probably a first. He's probably a, worth like a, a first round. Let's see what happens if I throw. Okay, yeah, I'm still very behind on the value. Maybe I can give up one of my players. Yeah, I think it's going to be a package deal. I yeah, think first round and maybe like, you know, what is he? Is, see, he? is he a left he's winger? A he's a center. Okay, yeah, let me look at my centers here. I feel like I could throw them. One of my younger Get, centers. I was going to say, offer stall. Oh, one of my old guys. Yeah, he's, a, he's an old vet. That's yeah. that. If you did that, that would be such a diss to him in real life. Like, he would just... He, he's like on his way to possibly winning the Stanley Cup and he gets traded. He won it last year, though, so that's the thing. Is like He actually has a cup. He's good. Sure. But in our reality, who knows? Okay, so they need something that is not this. Maybe a different player? Yeah, let's see. So um, so when you before you offer are you able to mm -hmm. see like what the sharks want or like what they're in the in the market for? So it doesn't really show like it'll show what their trading block is, but it's not necessarily telling me what uh what their their goals are. Got it. So Maybe there's a menu I'm missing. Let me just let me just try and throw like so. What it will do is it will some it will, like when the well, those uh, draft picks were in green, those were things that they wanted. Gotcha. So I think what it essentially means is these are things they're after. Okay, I'm not giving you my starting goalie. That's not no, fucking happening. No, that would seem unfair. Yeah. Um. Let's see if there's anyone in any. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like they want any anyone from any other position other than goalie. Hmm. What about offering them your backup? It seems like they only really want Markstrom. Well, they can go F themselves. Yeah. I think maybe we're not going to get Hurdle. But that's okay, because there were other players on the block that I could look at. For instance, Barkov. Let's see what they want. This would be a big get. Nope. They want my backup. Okay. I'm willing to I'm willing to trade my backup. He's young, but at the same time, I feel like he's not really blossoming here. Seattle would be over the league maximum salary cap if I did that, so I'd have to clear some cap. 
Okay, so I can't do that. Hmm. Maybe I can add. You couldn't say. Put, I was gonna say you have to put people on waivers and stuff, right? Like. Yeah. Or I could go. This route. They apparently sure. do not value that that trade very much. They mm. are not seeing a lot of value here. But if I were to say, oh, I don't know, add. This is a terrible deal, and I probably shouldn't be making it, but I'm going to do it anyway just for the sake of the quick look here. Well, I, give them... Wait, uh, oh, was this part of... Uh, did you already offer the first round pick? I have not offered the first round pick yet. Yeah, do the, the first round pick's going to get you there. I mean, that's... That's that seems, pretty close. That seems fair. What happens if I take this... What happens if I just take the goalie off? Would that... Because I would like to have a backup goalie. That that does feel... Yeah, but, you know... Let me just try it without it and see what I get. All right. Go for it. Ah. Uh... Yeah, all right. Let me try the goalie. Is this in the range of what you're looking for? No. Wow. They don't like the value. They're not into it. All right, well, look, we're being this very... This is the hardest part of the game. Yes. <laughs> and look, Thomas Hurdle has been traded. It's happened. Ah. Off the market. And so, yeah, sometimes over time, players will just get pulled off the market if other trades get made. And so they're no longer available because they need, the, they need those players. Go after Gallagher, yeah. Yeah, let's try it. Let's see what they want. Okay, they're a little more open to some some random skaters. Let's see who they want. Uh, well, this guy's good, and he's developing really nicely. I don't know if I want to get rid yeah. of him. Him, I'm a little less enamored yeah. with. I, I think that's going to be fair, and I think your draft pick's going to have to go also. Yeah, that's fine. I'm willing to, to toss a first rounder and one of my, my bottom six uh, defenders. That looks pretty... Disapproved, I would be over the salary cap. Okay, so I have to clear some cap. Yeah, so th that's where Stahl comes in. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can just throw Stahl in. Well, so he's a... Uh, Galler's a right winger, right? I believe... Is he? Yeah. Let me throw someone whose contract is maybe not ideal for what I'm looking for here. They would have too many skaters. Okay. Well, that's their problem. That's, yeah, that's not really... Well, maybe I can take one of their, like, low-end skaters or something. Like, uh, like a prospect. Let's see. We're having, we're having fun with trades here, you know? This is, this is the game. I mean, this, I mean, for a, a, a serious hockey fan, we'll eat this up. I mean, oh, yeah. this, this stuff is, it's fun. League approved. Let's see if they'll do it. Wow. All right. Well, you know what? I suck at trading. I'm a bad GM. I'm, I give up. My team will be what it is. And so far, no one's offered me anything, which is uh, insulting, I think. Yeah, right? Well, I mean, maybe they figure you're good to go heading into the postseason. I've got all these players on my block, and no one wants them. Too much cap. Yeah. Well, since... Uh, I don't want to sit here all day. Uh, do that. Let's uh, let's jump into a game actually with my my beloved Seattle Space Force and see see what they look like. I forgot to actually design uniforms for them, but that doesn't really matter. That is quite all right. So uh, so I guess the Kraken is not in this game. No, because they won't start till the following season. Well, when do they officially kick off? So now I'm all turned around with what year it is or whatever it is so if this so is normal, this game by the way because the yeah. calendar does not represent the current well, what will be the next season um because it, it has a full year calendar not a starting right. in january calendar so if this were in fact the beginning of the 2021 season they i believe would be starting the 21 22 season okay So they will not be starting when this next season kicks off. I believe so. Okay. I believe you are correct. They will not be. And none of the Kraken branding was in there as far as I could tell. I mean, there yeah, might be like a big... disappointment. 
There might be a big stupid octopus. You can make your logo if you want, but uh, I didn't see like a official like here's your Kraken logo. I mean, I guess I actually can't remember how they did it with the Golden Knights if they were like somehow in it a bit early. Maybe they weren't. It's been long enough that I don't remember. And also because yeah. the Golden Knights have been so omnipresent in hockey, it feels like they've always been there <laughs> in a weird way. I do remember when they were first introduced into... Oh, I, I actually, I think it was the it was when the game came out right before the start of the season that they were going to be premiering in, so... Gotcha, okay. Yeah. I remember being like, oh, this is actually my first look at what these jerseys are actually going to feel like. The Sharks start with possession as we are now underway. San Jose's got it along the wall. Just playing a little bit of a regular game here. Despite having a over three goals against average, uh, my goalie is, has a winning record this year. Doesn't seem right, but you guys have weird. really, you guys have really believable uh, beer league jerseys. Yep. Where it's like, hey, you guys, can you just get like black jerseys and like just wear them to all our games? Because everyone's it's got a black jersey. Yeah, it's like the Washington football team. You know, they're just right. doing the generic logo thing, except that we didn't have the problem of our team being racist before, so they had to change it. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. The Sharks played along the boards. Oh boy. I gotta tell you, I think the Kraken is a really stupid name for a team. Um, I think it was cool for like the 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 two months that everyone pretty much had first heard about it and that was like a year and a half ago when it became yeah. like the worst kept secret like that's what this team's going to be called um you know i'll say this i agree i think this honeymoon period is is out you know outstaying its welcome but i think when it does settle down i think we'll we'll sort of just you know be cool with it that that's what i'm hoping for yeah, I would also like to be cool with it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know. I I, have a, I actually do have a good amount of friends who are Seattle sports fans, and they are jazzed. I'm glad um, Seattle's getting the team. Like, I think totally. that's a that's a perfect market for it. I think, uh, you know, as much as Vancouver has sort of taken the Pacific Northwest, uh, we don't have a U.S. equivalent. So I think that's that's a good spot for the team. And I'm looking forward to seeing who gets drafted to it, what the team ends up, you know, being. But I just, I, the branding is not my favorite. Uh, yeah, the Golden Knights totally also kind of sounded like a stupid team name to me initially, but at the same time, like, I got used to it. Right. And that's that's what I think will what'll happen with, with the Kraken. And like are they the crack I guess they're the Kraken. Yes. They're not just Kraken. Well what's what's the plural of Kraken? Is it Krakens? Cra couple of Krakens? Yeah. Crack got a couple of Krakens. Crack a in um Yeah, like I still am not a fan of like whatever the hell a golden knight is. Um You know. But I think uh Oh boy! Like you said, it, it sort of just it just wore on people, and it, and it's and it's fine now. Yeah, people get used to it. Yeah. Oh. That's what happens when you mash the shot button. That's it. Yeah, it's not great when your defenseman is leading the team in points. That's not really what you want, but it's good for him. Yeah. I love everyone in in the audience wearing better looking jerseys than the players on the ice. Yep. Yeah, I took absolutely no time at all to customize <laughs> this team other than giving them a logo. So there you go. That's why we're why it looks like this. Sometimes a rookie can get to the point where he's just paralyzed because he's trying to score so hard. He's now looking for the perfect play. Just shoot it. Maybe it'll go in the net. For yeah, him. just shoot it. It'll go in the net. Always got to shoot. Put well, Jeff, towards the net. Uh, I don't think we need to play through the whole game here, but like right. final thoughts on NHL 21, things that you you want to communicate that you haven't already? Um, You know, 
I, I, I do. Th people always ask me, should I buy this one if they own 20? And my answer is probably not. Um, you know, I think if you're a casual sort of NHL player, you can get away now, or at least where the game's at right now, you can get away with buying it every other year. Yeah, and um, I mean, next year will ostensibly be the year when it comes to the new consoles. Hope so. Um, it is not, I mean, I think it will be compatible with the this year's con new consoles, but I don't think they are doing any upgrades to it whatsoever, so yeah. it will essentially be the same game. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe it will be better when they make the Switch. It wasn't last time they did, but you know, things can change, right? We'll, we'll see. I, I am, I remain optimistic, you know, at the very least, the people, you know, the people who make these games, they love hockey. They, they want the game to be good. I'm sure there are things they want to do. So I, I remain optimistic knowing that. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm, I'm always hopeful that they will get there one of these years. It just, this has not been their generation, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, Jeff, thank you, as always, for joining me on another uh, very cold hockey journey. We are very cold on this game, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, maybe next year. Maybe next year. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, man.